Hello, welcome to our channel. My name is Giovanni Rodriguez from Week Editor Forums, and today we will be doing this animation using only code and state machines. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are very thankful we reached 500 subscribers, but our goal is to reach 1,000, so keep sharing these videos. First, go ahead and click on the center, my project, and then rename it to Prog Animation. And then let's use 60 frames per second. And this width and height is okay. Click Apply. Then let's choose a yellow color for our background. Let's see, something like this will work. Apply. And then let's do the subscribe um, logo so white subscribe and then let's use the Anton font now let's increase the, the size a little bit and let's go do the background of the logo uh, let's choose a bit and then rectangle, go and put 20 in the corners. And then for the line thickness, use six. Let's try that one. I think this is okay. Now click here and reorder the uh, order of the depth. Just put the label on top of the background. Now this looks okay, let's just resize the text a little bit, so it could be a little bit thinner. And also let's change this black here by maybe a dark red, um, something like this. Oh, this is already beautiful. Let's convert this into a clip and let's name it a sub clip, like subscribe clip, but sub clip. Clip. And then let's put this clip on the on the bottom of the stage, probably around here. And then let's copy this text, copy, go back to the project, paste it. And then in here we can write something like 500 subscribers. Thank you. So we can um, increase the size a little bit, so we can fill the entire stage. Uh, this is fine. Let's copy and pay, duplicate this like three times. Uh, something like that. Uh, maybe a little bit less. And in here we can vary the text a little bit. Let's just put um, thank you first. And then 500 subscribers at the end. And then in here we can do maybe subscribers, thank you, 500. And then now we, we have three variations. We can go ahead and select all of them and do copy and paste by uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl B, and around here. Now we can select all of them and convert them into a one clip so we can have everything organized and we can name this thank you. Now this white is a little bit strong so I will go ahead and reduce the opacity to 40% which is 0.6 and now this is good. We will have four states uh, the first state will be the setup and the logo will be waiting for the user to do the left click of the mouse and then the subscribe logo will be entering to the stage until it reaches the middle of the stage and then it will scale until 1.5 and then it will exit in the stage rotating so that will be it click on the first frame and then add a second script and choose timeline update so now we have default and update and we can change between the two using these tabs. 
Let's start by adding the four states. So these are the four states, uh, as I described before. The first one is setup equal to zero. Then the second one is entering equal to one. Then scaling equal to two. And then run, rotating and exiting equal to three. Now the logo will be on three positions of the state. The bottom, the middle of, and the top. Let's define those three. Now let's define two variables for the states and let's initialize that the first variable to setup, which is this value here. And then the second for the speed of the logo. Let's use one pixel per frame. Now for the update script, we will be using these four states and we will construct what we call an state machine. An state machine uses a switch statement like this one and we pass the variable state and then we construct all the different um, states that we have in here. Let's do that. So this is what we call an state machine. We have all the states needed for our animation. And then whatever I put in here, it will, it, it will define the setup state of our animation. Let's just start by putting the Y axis. So clip dot Y equals to bottom, which is, um, 550 and then let's initialize the rotation of the clip we want to zero also sub clip dot scale x equal to one and let's just copy and paste this one scale y equal to one and then within the state, we will be waiting for the user to go do a left click of the mouse. So if, let's go here to the inputs, um, that would be this mouse down. And then if that happened, we want to change the state to entering. Then within our entering state, we want to um, decrease the Y axis of our logo, uh, which is clip, clip, Y, minus equals speed, which is in this case, we define speed by is just equal to one the y-axis of the clip reaches the center of the of the clip which is middle which is here is the project height divided by two um, if we reach that point then we want to change state from entering to scaling Then within the scaling state, we want to scale our clip uh, 50%. So let's do that. So clip dot scale x um, plus equal 0 0.005. Let's do the same thing with the y axis. If the scale reaches 1.5, 
then we want to go to the other um, state, which is Exidy. Now we want to exit the state, the stage, so we will be copying this um, subclip.y minus equals speed, but also we want to rotate the clip a little bit. So let's do that. Subclip dot rotation um, plus equal eight. And then if our clip reaches the top, initialize state to set up again. So let's try this. I think this will work. Now if we're waiting for the user, let's click. Entering. Now it's scaling and now it's exiting and rotating. Oh, this is working just fine. And now it, it go back to the setup state and it's waiting for us to click again. So this is an animation, it's programmatic animation and also it's using a state machine for the animations. So you can learn a little bit about switch statements and states.